Hi, I'm Natasha and today I'm going to teach you how to factorize with the quadratic formula. So, this is your expression, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The quadratic formula expression is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided everything by 2a. I mean, it does look scarier than it actually is. As long as you have a, b, c, and you know the formula. So now let's pick an example. Let's say we're trying to find the solution to 4x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. So the solutions for x are x is equal to, so minus b is minus minus 4, because b is minus 4, plus or minus square root of b squared, which is minus 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c minus 3, divided everything by 2 times 4. Okay. Uh, minus minus 4 is plus 4, so 4 plus or minus. Minus 4 squared is the same as 4 squared, which is 16. Minus times minus is a plus. 4 times 4 times 3 is 48. And everything here divided by 8, which is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 plus 48 is 64 divided everything by 8, which is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 64 is 8 divided by 8, which means two solutions here. 4 plus 8 divided by 8, that's 12 divided by 8 which is equal to 3 over 2. And then we have 4 minus 8 divided by 8, so that means minus 4 divided by 8, and that's equal to minus 1 over 2. So these are the two solutions for x. Now we've got these two solutions uh, for x, such that 4x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. So if you replaced x here by minus 1 half, or if you replace x here by 3 halves, you will see that this is equal to 0. This is just to solve this equal to 0, but if you wanted to actually factorize this quadratic expression, if you had y is equal to 4x squared minus 4x minus 3, then you would have to write y is equal to first the a that we're missing times x minus x1, which is the first one, times x minus x2, which means that it would be first a, which is equal to 4 times x minus x1, so x minus minus one-half, which is plus one-half, times x minus three-halves. There you go, you factorized this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a different lesson or a trick, please don't hesitate to tell me what topic you want in the comments under the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.